trying to thread the needle when it comes to her ISIS policy after seeming to downplay a possible U.S. role in eradicating the terror group. She is now calling on America to lead the fight without literally fighting. Chief White House correspondent Ed Henry sorts it all out for us tonight from New York. Hillary Clinton said very little that's new or different from President Obama's approach to battling ISIS, right down to the tough talk. Smash the would-be caliphate. Built as a major speech with a bold national security strategy, it became a bold political strategy to help Clinton dig out from miscues in the last Democratic debate. This is a worldwide fight, and America must lead it. This cannot be an American fight, although American leadership is essential. Clinton was consistent from the debate in one area, refusing to say radical Islam. Muslims are peaceful and tolerant people and have nothing whatsoever to do with terrorism. Clinton advisors note she does not want to alienate leaders in the Mideast she'll need if elected president. Except King Abdullah of Jordan this week cited the high number of Muslim victims of ISIS to say, quote, this is a war, as I've said repeatedly, within Islam. Clinton instead said she wants to fight radical jihadism with a plan that, other than touting her break with the on a no-fly zone for Syria sounded like the White House strategy, rallying allies for targeted airstrikes, block terrorist funding, wage cyber warfare, and rely on local forces in Iraq and Syria for ground troops. If there were, God forbid, another a terrorist attack, God forbid, in the United States, do you think the pressure to send American troops into Syria would be unstoppable? Well, it would certainly grow, but I think it would be a mistake. The Republican National Committee charged, quote, Hillary Clinton is the architect of the failed Obama foreign policy that has presided over a steep increase in radical Islamic terrorism and the rise of ISIS. And Clinton is getting hit from the left, too, with Democratic Socialist Senator Bernie Sanders blasting her foreign policy credentials. Which candidate voted against the worst foreign policy blunder in the modern history of America? And let me give you a hint. It wasn't Bernie Sanders. It was Hillary Clinton. Clinton's speech today, though, overshadowed Sanders' big address defending democratic socialism. Hundreds of students lined up in the rain early this morning at Georgetown University to hear Sanders declaring there already is socialism for the 1%. Brett? Ed Henry in New York. Ed, thank you. I